has been an awakening. Have you felt it? Hello guys, my name is IronMac117 and today I am doing a review on Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. I just saw it and I thought we would do a... Well, I thought I would do a quick review on it. I just got back. Sorry if I'm a bit quiet and everything. It's uh, obviously late at night. My brother's in bed. You know, and all of a sudden I don't want to, uh, you know, wake him up. Uh, can I just put that? Let's just put that there for a second. Okay, I'm happy, I think. My face looks very bright. I guess that's better. Yeah, <laughs> just kept the light off. Anyway, uh, Kingdom of Planet of the Apes. I just saw that in theaters just now and i really loved it i thought it was great i've been a big fan of the planet of the apes movies for a while um the first one i saw actually was rise of the planet of the apes i remember seeing the trailer for it a while ago oh sorry seeing the trailer for it and it freaked me out i actually thought it was like a horror movie and that kind of turned me off and then next minute you know it's meant to be more action and i was like oh okay and I remember we went on a holiday and we were in, uh, I think we were, I can't remember if we were in Australia or New Zealand, I can't remember, but we were in a caravan, I definitely remember that. We went to Kmart, we went to just get a movie, so we'd watch that night. And the choice that I had was either Captain America First Avenger or Rise of the Planet of the Apes. And I saw Rise of the Planet of the Apes, and some of you are like, really? But yeah, so I'd Rise of the Planet of the Apes, and I watched it, and uh, I remember my favourite part in the movie is the bit with... Um, the actor who plays Draco Malfoy, I can't remember the actor's name, but he goes, you know, take your stinking paw off me, damn dirty ape, obviously a callback to the original, and then Caesar goes, no, and there's just silence, and he just, bang, hits him, and yeah, I just love it, one of my favorite moments in the thing, and it just blew me away, like, holy shit, he can talk, you know, and stuff like that, but anyway, we're not here to talk about that, but I did see, I should also mention, I did see Dawn and War, both in cinema, both love those movies, and then I've gone back and watched the originals as well. And I like most of them as well. I don't like Escape. I thought Escape's dumb. And Tim Burn one's a bit, you know, it's a bit weird. But yeah, overall, I'm a big fan of this franchise. And so with this one, I was very excited for it. I was like, cool, we got another Planet of the Apes. And it's kind of leaned towards the kind of original kind of movie as well. So yeah, there was a lot I was definitely looking forward to. Um, I guess I should start off with, uh, like, well, the CGI for size is amazing. It looks incredible. It's It just looks flawless. And it's nice to watch a movie and have good CGI in it instead of most superhero movies these days. Yeah. Anyway, um, I think this movie is definitely where it shines is its characters. I think um, the main ape, Noah, is someone that you, you're rooting for throughout this whole movie. You, you feel for him. And seeing the stuff that happens to him, you really are kind of, you know, invested in his story, I felt. So I thought he was very good. And I can see him being the next, like, lead for, like, a trilogy, if that's the way they're going to go. Who knows? You know, where Caesar was for the last three, obviously. There's a lot of callbacks to the original, or to the first three, and then obviously to the originals as well, which is pretty cool. Um, sorry, I went off track there. Characters. Um... The orangutan character, I cannot remember his name for the... But, I can't remember his name, but anyway. But the... Uh, really great. Loved his character. Kind of wish there was a bit more of him. And I'm not going to get into spoilers and stuff, but you kind of... You know. But I really liked him in this. He's almost the comic relief in this. Almost, like, there's certain lines and stuff that he has that is kind of funny. But, you know. Um, the girl... Um, who plays uh, Siri in The Witcher. I can't remember her name, <laughs> the actress name. But um, I thought she was really good in this as well. And once again, like, for that human part of this movie, you're kind of, like, you have these moments, like, you kind of, you're with her, you side with her, but then there's moments where you don't side with her. And I think that's something I've always liked about these new Planet of the Apes movies, is that you have these moments of, Ooh, do I do I side with the humans or do I not or do I you know I side with the apes like for me Dawn of the Planet of the Apes is a movie that I want the apes and humans to live side by side you know but then in the end it came down to two men hating well one ape Cobra and Gary Oldman's character hating each other and that well mainly Cobra 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 yeah 
Um, yeah, and that's always something I found interesting. I think the character that is definitely going to be a standout, though, is the king, uh, Prox... I think his name's Proximus Caesar, I think I think is what they said. They called him Caesar a lot, but it's, I think it's Proximus Caesar, or, or Proxy Caesar, or something, or something like that. I'm just going to call him Caesar. He's not Caesar, but he calls him Caesar, you know. Um, I thought he was really great in this. He definitely has some really great moments in this. Um, he's threatening, he's cool, his introduction is really cool. And he basically just wants more power and to make his kingdom um, the best ever, basically. And he just learns from all this from another human character in this. Who, I don't know if people know if he's in it or not. I, he's been in premieres and stuff. I don't know if it, it's kind of a minor spoil if you don't know. But he's been showing up at the premieres and all that. So I assume people know. But the actor who plays Frank in Shameless is in this. And it's just kind of funny. Me and my parents, like, we watched the... That's who I went and saw it with, by the way. I went and saw it with my parents. And we watched Shameless. And we're just kind of like, oh my god, it's Frank. <laughs> so that's pretty funny. Um, there's also the gorilla as well. And, you know, he's pretty threatening. He gets some pretty cool moments as well. Um, yeah, and, you know, he's kind of he's kind of almost the main villain to Noah. But then again, I guess the king is obviously the main villain. Um, what else? I think that's character-wise. You get, the, like, the mother and the friends as well. And they're pretty good as well. Once again, they all look incredible for the apes and the CGI and everything. Um, what else? I guess the story itself, uh, not going into spoilers, the story is basically about noah reclaiming his clan as you see in the trailers and stuff he's basically going after his clan as they were taken away from him and he's basically just going to look for them and obviously get them back and then along the way he finds you know the girl and the orangutan and yeah and kind of learns about the human world and the ape world and you know what really happened and stuff like that so there's a lot of twists and turns and stuff like that a lot of hints to things that could be happening, but it's not really made clear of... Like, there's a part in Rise of the Planet of the Apes where I only noticed this in my recent watch again, but there's a part where you see astronauts go to space on a mission to Mars, and then they, it has a newspaper layer saying Lost in Space, and I thought it's kind... I feel like it's kind of reference, but I might be wrong. So, Yeah. And I'm wondering if they're going to go down that time travel type road again, which I'm a bit curious about. Um, soundtrack was amazing. I thought I really love the music in these movies. I don't know why. I just love the music. I think they're great. Um, I love the the Eagle Clan. That's what Noah's Clan is. I thought that's really cool. It almost made me go like a Planet of the Apes game would be sick. I would absolutely love them to do that um what else is there is there anything else to be called i think one thing is is quite a long movie as well so i think that might throw people off because it's not a very i wouldn't say it's a very action movie i think it's a very it's a very story driven movie it definitely has action in it but it's a very story driven movie and you know so if you like that type of stuff then obviously you like it I do feel like this is a movie that is for a particular taste. It really is. If you're a Planet of the Apes fan, you will love this movie. I am worried that I think for people who aren't much of the Planet of the Apes, you know, know stuff about it, you might not enjoy this movie as much. And that's kind of the thing I'm a bit worried about because I want this movie to do well. I want more of these. You know, I want more Planet of the Apes movies. Um, you know, and I think there's so many ways, or so many directions they can take this to. So... Yeah, so I do hope that. Um, yeah, I as I said, I I just I really enjoyed it as a Planet of the Apes fan. I was really happy with it. Um, I cannot wait to watch this again. Um, I, don't, I can't remember what I did my ranking last time with Godzilla and Kong. I should have looked at it. I think I did nine out. Did I did did I do one from ten or did I do? Oh God, I really can't remember. I'm gonna do nine out of ten. Oh, but there's nothing really I didn't like about this movie to be honest. It's a bit slow at times, but nah, 10 out of 10. I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10, whatever I did for my uh, my last, uh, whatever I do. I can't, I should have watched my video before I did this actually, but I absolutely loved it. Um, it's just, it's nice to have a movie that really had heart and feeling into it and it really feels like 
people knew what they were doing with this. There is a clear vision. There is a clear um, idea of what they wanted to do with this. And it's just nice to watch a movie like that, you know, instead of just stumbling around, just being like, oh, throw something at the wall, it might stick, you know. Here it's it's a very well-made movie. Um, impressive technology for the apes and the t and all that, the CGI and all that. Um, I loved it, man. As a Planet Apes fan, I loved it. If you're a Planet of the Apes, Planet of the Apes fan, <laughs> I feel like I'm putting it all together, you should love this. Um, as I said, I think the only complaint is that if you're not really into these movies, you might not enjoy it. But then again, I feel like that's really any movie, to be honest. <laughs> if you're not into Transformers, you're not going to enjoy Transformers. You know what I mean? But yeah, anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Please go and watch this. Please like and subscribe. I want this movie to do well. I really want to see this movie do well. So I hope people go see it. Thank you very much. Catch you later.